Hey YouTube, welcome to Ending Calls Productions and in this video basically I'll be showing you um, how to basically move from your stock ICS kernel on the Galaxy Note to a safe kernel uh, based off ICS as well. So, here is my Galaxy Note and to show you which kernel it's running um, just go ahead open up settings and about phone there you can see it's running the 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich um, this is the baseband version and the kernel version is here right there so it is stock uh, it's not been rooted it's not have any custom kernels or custom roms installed this is basically how you get your galaxy node out of the box so now what i'm going to show you is um, how to move from this kernel on this phone to basically an ics kernel which is safe now as you know samsung galaxy note phones uh, and as well as uh, galaxy s2 lineup um, especially those ones based on Exynos 4210 have this EMMC bug issue which uh, basically breaks your phone if you factory reset it or uh, you wipe uh, the phone um, and this problem is specifically found on uh, all ICS stock ROMs all, uh, on all uh, leaked ICS ROMs or any uh, ROM or uh, any kernels based off uh, the stock ICS um, so uh, some kernels which are safe from this are the speed mod kernel for the Galaxy Note and GTN 7000, um, the Franco's kernel for the Galaxy Note, um, there is the CM9 Nightly's for the Galaxy Note, uh, and also MIUI kernel for the Galaxy Note. These four kernels are uh, said to be safe uh, since they have the EMMC uh, erase functionality to be disabled and uh, Flashing this, these kernels on your uh, Galaxy Note will uh, prevent your Note from getting bricked in case you factory set it or flash uh, or wipe it. So, what you need for this is firstly your Galaxy Note, obviously. So, just put that here. You're going to need a PC running uh, Windows, most preferably. You're going to need a USB to micro USB cable. So, here it is. It has USB on one end and micro USB on the other. And you're going to need your Samsung drivers, which if you don't have, you're going to have to go to the Samsung's website and download it off there. Um, basically, what you need to do is go ahead to go ahead on the Samsung's website and download Samsung Kais. And your driver should come when you install uh, the Kais uh, PC software. Uh, so, after you get the drivers installed, basically what you'd want to do is go ahead and put your phone in download mode. Uh, that you'd want to do by holding down the volume down button. So let's remove this case first. Uh, you after you got off the case, you're gonna press the volume down, your home button together, and then hold down the power button, and just keep it held for a couple of seconds until it reboots, and just keep it held for a couple of seconds more, and you should get this. When this comes, you're gonna press the volume up to continue and volume down to cancel since we don't want to cancel we'll press volume up to continue and now what you want to do is go ahead and take your USB to micro USB and hook it up to your Galaxy Note and the other end obviously goes into your PC so I'll just put that in okay after you put that in you'll move on to your PC now and uh, to download the files we need you will have to go to this thread um, which I'll post in the description now this is, is a thread posted by me in which I had asked help on how to move from the stock uh, ICS to the safe kernels um, so just go ahead onto this thread and I'd like to thank a user called Azle Dazzle, which basically provided me the help uh, to to make this tutorial so her there is the post by Azle Dazzle, and in it you can find the steps to do it. But I'll be explaining them. Uh, I'll, exp I'll be ex explaining the same steps in detail. So firstly, what you want to do is click this link. He's provided a link as well. He's been very generous. Um, do some research for us and provide us the link. So go ahead and download this. Click on this link there, and it should automatically start a download. Um, and there, my download has started. Speed mod kernel. 
uh, for the Galaxy Note and it's 6 MB so it'll take about a few seconds to download and after it's downloaded what you want to do is basically um, go to your location with, where it has downloaded and move it onto your desktop so I'll go ahead and paste it here and here it is um, my speed mode kernel is here now you're also going to need to download Odin um, and I'm going to use Odin 1.83 which I already have downloaded if you don't just google it and you should be able to find it pretty easily and now what you want to do is go ahead and run Odin as an administrator and you'll get up this pop-up where you want to click yes and this is Odin so uh, I'll show you the settings that you're going to use for Odin firstly you're going to make sure that this has turned yellow if it hasn't um, that means your Galaxy Note is not being recognized and you'd probably need to uh, reinstall the drivers and it should also show you added over here if that's alright you're, you're fit to move on and make sure only these uh, auto reboot and f.reset time is uh, checked others should be unchecked and if that's all uh, done then you'll move on to this section right here and all you need to do is go ahead and click this PDA button and it'll give you this uh, pop up and here what you want to do is go ahead and navigate to where you sh you save that uh, downloaded file your tar file to be flashed and since it's on the desktop for us what I'll do is I'll go ahead to the desktop click the desktop and then find it over here there it is speed mod uh, kernel uh, n7000 uh, just click it once and hit the open button right there and this is how it should look like and if this is done if your PDA section has been filled then what you want to do is go ahead and hit start so let's see what happens I'll just hit start now okay I hit start and this is what it should show you right there if everything goes well it should flash it and if it shows you the green sign and says pass um, that means it has been successful and your galaxy note will automatically reboot with this um, symbol here the exclamation symbol since it's now um, has a custom kernel your thing should your Odin should say one successful and zero failed and if that's right you're fit and you, you probably have successfully installed uh, your uh, custom kernel right there so let's see and my note has rebooted and Android is updating it's almost done and let's see check out our kernel it's taking a bit of time since it's the first time I would installed this kernel It's a bit laggy in the start, but uh, hopefully uh, it will uh, clear out since this is the first time I'm using this. I've installed this kernel. It's a bit a uh, little stuttery. So I'll just show you it in my settings what kernel it is. And now here there you can see the kernel version has changed to the hardcore speed mod kernel N7000 ICS K3. Uh, and there are your details so it shows you that uh, you're, you have successfully installed this uh, custom kernel and to show you if it has root I'll also show you it should have an application called super su or super user there you can see super user has been installed as well and so basically you get root with this as well as your kernel and this is a safe kernel which means it has the EMMC functionality disabled so you will not break your phone um, so if you found this tutorial useful, uh, go ahead to the uh, thread in the description and thank this user called Azzle Dazzle and if you want you can give me a thanks as well. Um, and obviously you can subscribe to my YouTube page and hit the like button on the YouTube video. So thanks guys for watching, this was Ending Code, peace out.